Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to mine Ethereum on your PC using Phoenix Miner for AMD video cards. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get up and mining we're going to need a few tools. Make sure things are up to date and make sure that you have the Radeon software installed. The Radeon software is not optional, you will need this or you will be cutting your hash rates in half. Now we just need the Phoenix Miner and I suggest Afterburner for fan controls as well. I'll be leaving links to everything that you'll need in the description below. First, let's download the miner. Your selected mining pool should have links to the download to download the miner. I use ethermine.org, so I'll be going over there. Once the page is loaded up, you can go over and hit the big start mining button and scroll down and you will see some options. Click the Phoenix miner in the Windows AMD tab. So just scroll down and find the Win the Phoenix miner for Windows and click it. This will bring you to this page and download the latest version that supports your drivers. We're going to go with the latest drivers, so we're going to go with the latest build for the miner in this example. We're just going to scroll down the page a little bit to the quick start and we're going to click this here. Okay, once it's downloaded, it's going to come up and say it come up with an error and ask you to discard it. We're going to show all folders and we're going to keep this dangerous file. You have to click this here and keep it anyways. Alright, once that's downloaded, we're going to download Afterburner as well. And I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, I guess if you're running into a couple of problems with your virus protection, we're going to go and turn it off and I'll be back with you in another second. After you turn off the real-time scanning, it will allow you to keep the folder. We're going to show it in folder and drag it to the desktop. Alright, once you actually have it downloaded, if you have problems or if you didn't have problems and you turn the real time protection off, it'll come up in your protection history with blocked. If you need to unblock it, all you, all you have to do is click on that, sorry about the loud noise, and click allow. Alright, once we got all that sorted out and you had your antivirus running and you allowed everything that you needed to and you have the folder on here, what we're going to do is we're going to pause for a second and we're going to go change a couple of our settings that we're going to need to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up the Radeon software. There's a few things in here that you will need to play with. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is go over to the settings tab, go to graphics, and this is the most important part, go down here to the advanced and scroll all the way down here to where it says GPU workload and change this to compute. Now this is going to flicker your screen and it's going to do a couple of things. It may affect my video quite a bit from this point afterwards because clicking it is going to change a lot of things. But you need this here on when you're mining or you're going to lose some of your, your performance. So we're going to click it on and see how it goes. Okay, once that does its thing and restarts the program here and it loads back up, I had to restart my recording. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go here to the Performance tab. In the Performance tab, we want to go over to Tuning. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's on Manual. Enable the Fan Tuning because 0 RPM will be on. You need to disable this here setting so that it's turned off. Another thing is, I turn down the GPU to, I enable the GPU tuning and turn it down to negative 26, and the VR RAM, the VRAM tuning, I turn it down to uh, 1998. I find these my best settings for my card personally, and click the apply changes. Um, another thing with this as well is you could save your profile. So make sure you click save profile. 
name it mining and click save. I already have that. If you have problems and this here, this one here, every single time, sometimes when you adjust it and it loads back and it keeps set into default, if you have any issues like that, loading your profile will fix that issue. So that's just a quick fix. So make sure you save your profile. So if you have any issues at all, you can just load your profile at that time. All right, on to the next part now. What we're going to do is we have to go in to our miner, find the one that we desire, um, the ether mine, create a shortcut to the desktop. I already have it here. And we want to click on it and click edit. Now there's a few things I'm going to do in here. First thing I'm going to do is delete the pause at the bottom. All right, that's pretty easy. Um, and then you want to change the wallet address to your wallet address and give your worker a name. So we're going to call this one here ZN1. Another thing that I like to do is add the SS at the front of this one here. Just one second. I'm going to just copy paste it. So after pool, I like to put SSL colon forward slash forward slash before my address. Another thing is if you're having errors loading up about right here, you want to put uh, CL kernel uh, space zero. I'm going to copy paste that one as well. Okay, so right here before it says coin ETH, we're going to paste in negative sign CL kernel space zero. Uh, this here will help if you have errors with the newer version. You don't have to put this here in only if you have an error. After that's all complete, double check to make sure that your wallet address is the same and click save. All right, once you're all done there and you're all done here, you can close out of this and you can double click this. Now I suggest opening up MSI Afterburner. As MSI Afterburner, I find um, controls the fan speed a lot better. So we're gonna con open up this here, make sure that auto's off and turn it to 77% on the fan and click OK. You have to make sure that you click off the auto. By default, it will be set like this and probably be 30 or 40%. So we want to make sure we turn off the auto, click it up to 77. Click OK. And you can close this or shut it down. And all we have to do is wait for our miner to start mining. A way to check your miner is to go to ethermine.org and type in your wallet address. Okay, to check your uh, pool stats out, all you have to do is go to ethermine.org and click on your mining address and click in your mining address here. And it will bring up your mining address and all the stats and the connected miners. I see ZN2 here and about 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes, I'll see ZN1 here. I'll just leave this going to see how long it takes. Okay, now that you see your ZN1 or whatever you name yours show up here, you know that it's working correctly and you see all your stats here. So that's pretty much everything that it, there is to it. Uh, after that, you're on your way to mining, whether it be after gaming or if you have a dedicated machine or whatever you're doing. Uh, this will get you up and going with your AMD GPU. If you think I might have left something out, definitely leave something in the description below. But if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.